Hey, hey y'all. What's up? This you thanks for tuning back in, in the news with me, your host, Carmela Bakes. This is the Carmela Bakes Show. Now go run and tell that. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the note that little bell for to notify you when I upload in the news because I'm always going to try to keep you guys in the news what's, what's going on in the here and now during this whole quarantine situation. I want you to guys to stay up. So no further ado, I'm going to jump right on in here. Atlanta's housewife Nene husband Greg was tricking, not, not treating, but tricking money on a woman. Greg Lee's husband of the Real Housewife of Atlanta star Nene Leakes is being accused of tricking of her money on a woman who is described as a younger and smaller version of Nene. <laughs> MTO has learned. This is straight from media takeout. Hot! Uh, last month, Nene talked about rumors that Greg was cheating on her and spending that family's money on one of Nene's employees. Now, that's one thing we're not going to have. Well, now, one of Nene's former employees went on Instagram live yesterday and spilled all the tea, all the soda, all every drink you name in, in, in the refrigerator. The tea on Greg's alleged relationship and is pretty juicy. Hot and juicy. <laughs> the woman claims that she worked at Nene's Baltimore store and Greg used to hit on a woman that worked there. Now, I think Nene has a clothing store, if I'm not mistaken. Um, drop in the comments below if you know what store it is and actually what kind of merchandise is sold in the store. Because I want to make sure I'm telling the right thing, you know. The woman explained Greg was tricking. The girl was small and had a short haircut and was definitely Greg's type. Oh, we got a problem now. Break up, break, break, one, check one. We got a problem. She added, one day it was just me and her in the store and the girl randomly told Greg, try to talk to me and they be FaceTiming each other. Greg all in all, Camera in the face, FaceTiming the girl. Rumors surrounding Greg and the woman started swirling like a tornado around that stuff. But let's believe some got, got blown up in that mud. And uh, Nene caught wind. Shocker, caught the wind. So eventually the 52-year-old reality star confronted her husband. That's what I like. Be gangster about it. Confront that nigga because I got to get answers right here and right now. Take a deep breath now. But, um, and he admitted to infidelity. Oh, Greg, you're so nice and so sweet. Thanks for being, um, truthful and look. I'm not gonna say loyal, but thanks for being truthful at least about the whole situation. Because I would have been a lying dog down there. But then a fight broke out in the store involving Nene. And I have the video to, to, of the woman who, who's spilling all the, the soda and the juice and, and every tea she can out the cabinet. Let's see. A girl, um, I'm going to say that she probably saw her. Remember when Nene and Gray got together, she was like small and had a short haircut. Mm -hmm. So the girl was definitely Greg's type. So mm -hmm. whenever Nene couldn't get to the store, Greg would come to the store. So... They had built their own, like, you know, friendship with them setting up the store together. So one day, it was just me and her in the store, and she randomly tells me, like, girl, yes, Greg tried to talk to me, and we be FaceTiming each other. Mm. And I just was like, so I didn't say anything. So it, so it was all this drama going in the store. Of course, I worked in the store, so you know, well, I shouldn't say the term, a gay guy worked in this board. Y'all really trying to get me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, mm -hmm. they like drama. So we had a store meeting, and we're just all sitting there. So he's telling her, oh, because you don't want me to spill the real fucking tea. I don't think you want me to go there. And so I'm like, oh, well, I'm thinking, okay, well, what could the tea be? Because I'm never thinking in a million years that she told this gay guy that she was 
acting with Greg. So he was like, you was on, you be on FaceTime with Mr. Greg, and then you say that he your new sugar daddy. Oh my god, I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> so I want to know. Me FaceTimes Greg. Um, he admits to this. Like, he made it seem like when she was in y'all interview that she didn't care. Oh, she was definitely bothered. And then it was another girl in this store that didn't like the girl that was with Greg. So, Nene told told the girl, well, didn't you say that you didn't like how she dressed? And, like, they were literally about to fight. So, like, she instigated the whole situation. So, I go Who was home. about to fight? They were literally about to fight. Like, Ooh. literally, they were, like, about to come to blows. And Nene's just standing there just watching the whole go down. And, like, other people had to, like, intervene and, like, hold him back because he was about to hit her. And oh, then the, the other girl the was trying guy? to fight her, too. It was like everybody just came, ganged up on her and Nene's just standing there. So, you know me, I'm nonchalant. I'm like, well, time for me to head on out. I'm like, oh, well, God, the meeting's over. So I was like, um, everybody still got a job. She was like, yeah, because two days before that, she had asked me, did I want to be full-time? One of the other girls texted me and was like, if you know anything, you, um, you need to say something. And I was like, that has nothing to do with me. That doesn't have to do with me. I drove my black ass back to Baltimore. So two days later, she gets the girl that texts me like, oh, if you know anything, you better spill it. Um, she gets her to call me and be like, oh, they no longer need your services. I was like, okay, well, whatever. I don't care. Oh, Lord. It's a mess. Well, it, was a whole, it was a whole mess. It was fun working there, but it was it was messy. <laughs> oh, my God. And she ain't innocent I'm- her damn self. So I don't know why she was so Listen, mad. I don't know nothing about nobody's business. I'm minding my business. <laughs> me either. Let me stop. <laughs> Bye, babe. Bye, I got hit with a gag. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, so, I mean, bottom line, we need the, we need an altar call for Greg. He needs to come on down to the line and lay across the altar and ask God <laughs> to forgive him. Um... I mean, I'm glad that Nene was, you know, she took a deep deep breath, even though she probably was bothered by it. Of course, she's married to this man. Even though you met him tricking, he was tricking and you was the dancer. So now, you know, just like, you know, how when you meet a person, however you meet them, that's how they're going to leave you. Like, but maybe they could just work things out, but... I need Greg to, um, I don't promote no cheating because when I find, when I find a man, I don't want him to cheat on me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when I marry somebody, but cheating is, um, logical. It happens. It's not like it it don't happen. But if you are gonna cheat, don't cheat at your wife job that she owns with an employee, employee, you know, it's going to get back. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's like um, taking a crap and then sitting down inside of it. Sitting sitting in it. You know, you, you shit and then you sit in the shit. No, that's backwards. Um, like she said, if Nene might not be innocent herself, but Nene, women are more smarter. We're not going to get caught. You know, we... You know, that's the difference between a dog and a cat. At least the cat, they, they, they cover their stuff up. They ain't going to just let you see it. You know, don't, don't, um, don't, don't shit where you have to stay. That's all I'm saying. Don't, and I don't mean to use curse words, but I mean, I got to get it through. That's the only way. But, um, yeah, I mean, you, um, Greg, you're going you gonna to have to do better than that. You know, cheating on your wife. At the job that she runs, she owns this. It's not like um, she she's a co-worker herself. She's the owner. How, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to cheat, make sure it don't get back. Don't cheat where you have to lay it. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't cheat where you got to lay it. That's not right, Greg. But hopefully Nene's just going to work it out with her husband, you know, got his hand caught uh, 
in a cookie jar, wide open, just pow, just, you know, um, you gonna have to do better than that, Greg. Um, that's all I got to say on that, uh, housewife of Atlanta, you know, um, she's the old housewife of Atlanta. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, just, um, don't, don't shit where you have to stay. That's like, don't shit where you have to sleep. Bottom line. Um, this, this music here that you're listening to is my, my own, you know, my song written by yours truly and sung by me. It's called I Am God's Greatest Creation. It is streaming on all major platforms. Make sure you hit that www.camellabakes.com and you can go download it. It's only for one dollar. Put it in your playlist. Right now you need to hear something inspirational. This is, this here is going to uplift you. Because you are God's greatest creation. Um, thanks for tuning in with Kool.